In this video, we're going to write a Python program to count the number of vowels in a string. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the string, and we'll store it into a variable. So we'll have text is equal to, and we'll call the input function, and we'll give it the string text colon as an argument. So the input function is going to prompt the user with the text text colon. After the user enters the string, the input function is going to return that string, and we're going to store it into the text variable. Next, we'll make a variable called count, and count is going to keep our running count of vowels in the string, and we'll initialize count to zero. Next, we'll loop through the string one character at a time, and each time we encounter a vowel, we're going to increment count by one. So we'll have four character in text. So the body of this for loop is going to execute for each character in the string text, and we're going to check to see if the character is a vowel with the help of the in operator. So we're going to have if the character is in this string. And we're going to have a string that contains only the uppercase and lowercase vowel characters. So we'll have lowercase a and uppercase a, lowercase e and uppercase e, lowercase i and uppercase i, lowercase o and uppercase o, lowercase u and uppercase u. So if the character is one of these characters, we know it's a vowel. And in that case, we're going to increment count by one. Finally, we can print out the count. So we'll have print, and first we'll pass the print function the string count colon. Then as the next argument, we'll pass in the actual count value. So we'll have count. So this will print out the count of vowels encountered prefixed with the text count colon. So we can save our program and try it out now. So for our test string, we could enter in some test text, and we get back a count of four, and this makes sense because we have four vowels in this string here. Now it might make sense to put this code inside of a function, so that way we can call the function at different places in our source code to count the number of vowels in a string. So we'll actually just cut this logic here, and we'll paste it up here. Then we'll make a function called count vowels. So we'll say def count underscore vowels, and the function will now have a parameter called text. And we'll just tab over this code here to make it part of the function body, and we'll have the function return the count instead of printing it out. So the logic is the same in terms of actually calculating the number of vowels in the string, but now the text string is being provided as a parameter of the function, and so we're gonna pass this function a string for which we wanna count the vowels inside of it. And the function is now going to return the count instead of printing it out. So what we'll do is call the function with this text that the user has provided us with. So we'll have count is equal to count underscore vowels and we'll pass it text. Now text and count here are global variables. Count and text inside of this function are local variables. They're essentially owned by this function. So even though these variable names are the same, they actually are different variables. So we'll save this and then test out this version of the program. So over here, we'll try to enter in our test string again. We'll have some test text. And again, we get back a count of four. So this is how we can count the number of vowels in a string using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.